So in this video I'll show you how to print using your iPhone and your Pantom P2500 printer. This, what I'll show you next, works with many other Pantom models. So let's get started right away. The first thing we need to do is to download the Pantom app on the App Store. So on the App Store go into the search bar and type Pantom. Then you need to download the app that is called Pantom. Okay, the app is now downloaded on my iPhone. And by the way, this works with iPads as well. Now, depending on which country you have, uh, you may have the updated version of this app or the non-updated version. I'll show you how to do it with the updated version. So simply launch the app, click allow, click skip, click I have read and agreed privacy blah 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 click agree now it will ask you if you want to share your location I will not allow Pantom to do that so I'll press don't allow here I will allow it to use the Bluetooth and right now I need to press on add a printer now it does not work like this you need to press on uh, duly noted and then press on add a printer it will scan now, if your printer does not appear on the list that is above, it simply means that it has been connected probably previously with another computer or smartphone. And don't worry about that. All you need to do is to press this Wi-Fi button once and you need to make sure you have some paper. But if this light over here is blinking, then it won't work. What you need to do in that case is to open this lid, take out uh, like this the cartridge then put it back and then close the lid wait a few seconds okay the printer will make some noises and now this light will stop blinking and now I can press the Wi-Fi button once Okay, it has printed this document. Now let's go back on the app. Click on uh, no printers found. Click the scan button down below, allow. And now it will be in scan mode. Take the paper that just got printed. It should have a QR code. Scan the QR code with your smartphone. Press join and wait. The second, if you have the older version of the app, uh, meanwhile, while well, this is done, oh, look, it even uh, connected in the meanwhile, press done. So if you had the older version of the app, if I check my manual here, you should have, once you open the app, a scan button on the top right corner of your screen that you can tap and scan this code uh, and scan this QR code. So this is the second method. It's almost the same thing. I just need... Uh, to warn you that if the app does not look like mine, you simply need to click on the top left corner, the scan uh, button to scan the QR code. All right, so this is how the app looks. It's very basic and many of the features that are on uh, the screen here are not working with this model. For example, print file works, obviously. Print image, it works, but not many people will start printing pictures on this laser printer that is also black and white. You have scan from cell phone, not very useful. Um, you simply, this feature allows you to scan a document and then to print it on the printer over here. But you can do this with the normal camera app of your phone or even on your iPhone, you have the notes app that is able to scan documents. So this is uh, nothing new. And you have printer scan. This printer does not have any scanner, so this will not work. Now let me show you how to print a file from your iPhone with your printer. Select the first option here. In my case, I'll select the first one. And even if your file is not on iCloud, but is located on your iPhone, what you need to do is to press on the lower uh, right side here, browse, and you'll have access to all the files and all the documents that are on your iPhone. So here I have selected one of those files that I want to print. 
make sure all these informations are okay with you so how many copies in which orientation you want to print it uh, the paper size this is a us letter size and here it's a4 so i need to change this i tap on it and i select letter and here i have a range if it's a document with multiple pages you can select which one of these you need to print single or duplex forget about this this printer does not have any duplex printing if you click here it will ask you to do it manually okay and once you're ready press press the print button make sure you have some printer uh, some paper inserted in your printer the document will be sent to your phantom printer just wait and uh, yeah it should have worked but the paper went inside crooked and there's a paper jam but for you it should work okay i didn't plan yeah you see it printed but it got in a paper jam let me just restart it <laughs> uh, okay repress print here all right this time no problem perfect so this is it i hope this video was helpful uh, if so please leave a comment like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video